All right, now this. It can be pretty annoying when you look down at your phone to yet another scam, text message, or phone call. Most people expect those kind of scams, right? But the U.S. Postal Inspection Service is issuing a warning about new methods that are emerging right now. NBC's Susan Hogan has more. So newer scams are coming out. So we're seeing smishing, which is using text messages. A perfect example of smishing is this text message claiming to be from the United States Postal Service, saying they are unable to deliver the package unless the address is confirmed in the link. That link does not go to the Postal Service and the message isn't from the Postal Service. But once you go there and you provide your name, your address and personal information, now those scammers have that information. Scammers are also leaving voicemails claiming to be a government employee. You have one new voice message. Phishing is, is uh, using spoofed phone numbers to leave voicemails on phones. So they'll take a number from a legitimate government entity and Hi there. Um, leave a voicemail with that. The number that they're telling you to call back on is not the government agency. That is the scammers. Instead of calling the number left in the voicemail, search for the main phone number for the department or agency and call that one instead. And QR codes that were popular during the pandemic are still popping up everywhere as an easier alternative to search for business and information online. But now scammers are finding a way to use them against you. And the newest one is Quishing, uh, which is using QR codes. So QR codes that are put out in public or hidden. Um, so the people scan them and instead of taking them to the website that they believe they're going to, it's taking them to the scammers website. Those websites can appear to be from trusted financial institutions that prompt you to provide your personal information, such as your PIN and social security number. So be careful. But if you fall victim to identity theft, it's so important to act as quickly as possible. So start by reporting the fraud to the Federal Trade Commission. You can do that by going to identitytheft.gov. Also, place a fraud alert or security freeze on your credit reports and review the information currently on there to make sure there's no suspicious activity. And if your personal financial information has been compromised, contact financial institutions and your lenders that you work with to alert them.